So when does your closing date extend automatically without an addendum to your sales contract? We're going to talk about that today. Hi everybody, I'm John Rotondo and today I'm continuing our series on the typical real estate contract used in the Birmingham, Alabama and surrounding areas. Now while the version we will be examining today in this video is published by the Birmingham Association of Realtors, most of the contract used in this area and really even in other areas of the state have very similar provisions. So our focus today is going to be on the financing contingency that appears in section 2A2 of the contract. That's the section that's marked by the buyer when they aren't paying cash for the real estate. Now checking that box can affect the closing date as we will see when we flip to page two of the contract and look at section three, which sets out the circumstances under which the closing deadline extends automatically when the financing contingency applies. Now you may know that a lender is required to give the borrower the closing disclosure at least three business days prior to the closing. What you may not know is that if the lender can't meet that deadline, the closing's automatically extended to a date that allows the lender to comply as long as that new date is not more than seven calendar days away from the original closing date. So no addendums required, but you really ought to get one just so that nobody's surprised by the new date. So let's take a look at some examples. In our first example, the lender disclosed on October 17th, that's more than three business days from the contractual closing date. So we're all good and we can close on the 23rd, no problem. In the second example, the lender was unable to get the disclosure to the borrower in time, so the closing date is automatically extended to October 24th in order to put the lender into compliance without an addendum. But good practice is just to go ahead and get one anyway. Now in our last example, note that because the disclosure occurred on October 28th, the first day for the closing to take place so that the lender will be in compliance is November 1st. Since that's more than seven days after the contractual closing date, there must be an addendum for the date to be extended. If you want to calculate these dates yourself, you can use this chart that's provided by the American Land Title Association. I'm John Rotondo. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video.